breaking news, the Iranian militants have taken over the U.S. Embassy and are holding 65 people hostage, including men, women, and African Americans. Hey! Yes, to America! Yes, to the great state! Yes, to the great state! Yes, to America! Yes, to the great state! Yes, to America! Yes, to the great state! Hey ladies over here, can I ask you a few questions? Yes. How does it feel to be free? It feels pretty good, but I feel sorry for the men who were captured. What do you think the purpose of this person? Uh, the, the Iranians want their shot back. And what they have to do to Uh, they're gonna revolt. How would this affect the U.S.? Well, Americans have changed their view on how they President Carter, what's going on in Iran? It has come to my attention that we may have some problems. But what's really going on? Iranians have taken 65 people hostage. The good news is, however, that they released the women and the African Americans, only keeping 52 men. But what were the events that led up to this? Well, it all started over a little oil dispute in Iran when the Iranians stopped production and the whole world went into an oil shortage. How many... How did the militants take over the U.S. Embassy? There was a crowd chanting outside, and then they got angry enough that they stormed the embassy with their weapons, and they blindfolded them, parading them around the street and in front of TV cameras. Did anyone try to stop the militants from taking the hostages? The U.S. Marines were at the scene. They shot tear gas, in, tear gas into the crowd, but it did not stop them. Someone please help me! Shut up! Eat your food! You're lucky I even gave you that! Really? Is this it? Shut up! Hello, come in. Okay, let's get down to business. I need these hostages set free. Why well, I want the shot in return. If you don't release those hostages, then it will affect my campaigning. Give me the shot and then we'll talk about the hostages. I'm not gonna fall into this blackmail. There's no other way. If you don't release those hostages, I will <laughs> ban any imports to and from Iran. Why that settles that. Today, April 24, 1980, President Carter has made a decision to send a rescue mission to Iran. What has Carter decide, decided? I think he decided to infiltrate the embassy. Well, Carter has decided to devise Operation Eagle Claw. And what is that? Well, the plan was to fly helicopters back to the country and rescue the hostages. Sounds simple enough. Well, from there, they would then fly them to another country and fly them back to America. So, in a way, it is very simple. It's just a hope it works. 90 Delta Force commandos, 8 helicopters, and 6 Hercules aircraft took part. The plan made complete sense on paper and during rehearsals, but the operation ended in disaster. The aircraft landed in a deserted airport near the eastern Iranian city of Tabas. A blinding sandstorm then kicked up. One of the helicopters hit a fuel-carrying airplane and exploded. Remember Operation Eagle Claw from earlier this week? Ladies and gentlemen, well, it wasn't that simple. What do you mean? Well, pilots flew into a dust storm causing the vision to be impaired. Oh, and two of the helicopters landed up out of action because of it. Oh, I'm sure she was about to say that. I was just going to say that too. Gosh. Well, besides from what my fellow reporters just said, another chopper has had a malfunction and had to return back to the base. Meaning that only five were used and however we needed six? mission was aborted? 
The sad part is that since the mission was aborted, the hostages, hostages are still being kept hostage. Carter's announcement that agreement had been signed with the Iranians for release of the hostages. President of the United States. Thank you. Thank you. Senator Hatfield, Mr. Chief Justice. Mr. President, Vice President Bush, Vice President Mondale, Senator Baker, Speaker O'Neill, Reverend Mumar, and my fellow citizens. To a few of us here today, this is a solemn and most momentous occasion. And yet in the history of our nation, it is a commonplace occurrence. The orderly transfer of authority as called for in the Constitution routinely takes place as it has for almost two centuries and few of us stop to think how unique we really are. In the eyes of many in the world, this every four-year ceremony we accept as normal is nothing less than a miracle. Mr. President, I want our fellow citizens to know how much you did to carry on this tradition. By your gracious cooperation in the transition process, you have shown a watching world that we are a united people pledged to maintaining a political system which guarantees individual liberty to a greater degree than any other. And I thank you and your people for all your help in maintaining the continuity which is the bulwark of our republic. Wait, so am I looking at you or am I looking at the camera? But you should get a close-up. Oh, my You should get a close-up. Hello, Mr. Closer. I just gotta see how this is gonna work. Okay, Mommy's like all like Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. I wanna be in the front. Yeah, I'm not even filming. Oh, okay. I'm just getting my scene. No. No. That's too much giggling for me. Okay. Da 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 da. 